happy Saturday everyone uh, today is a very very busy day there is a lot going on so uh, here is a quick run through the program of the day James is getting dressed he's gonna go and collect our tiles and bring them back here in the meantime I am going to prepare the bag for the boys because they are going to their grannies tonight Owen has dance class at 11 and Alfie is gonna go with James so I need to have everything packed before James goes so I can put it in the car. He's going to bring Owen to dance class, just wait there and um, then pick him up and bring them to his mom. When he comes back, we are off to b &Q to buy paint, polyfiller, rollers, like paint stuff basically and things to... There's a lot of little holes in our walls uh, that I'm going to paint. Uh, so the idea is that I will fill all the holes today so it has time to dry overnight and tomorrow I can paint the kitchen um, The boys are away so I thought it was the best way to do it like that Tonight we are going to the cinema but it's not before half eight so I should have time to fill you know, the holes and then So that's the whole project of the day It's gonna be a big busy day but that's okay and then tomorrow uh, I will um, paint the kitchen. It's not there's not a massive surface to paint because of all cabinets, and there will be a lot of tiling. Uh, I was gonna wait until after the tiles um, were set, put down to paint, but I figured we have about ten days in between there, and it means that if I do it now, I don't have to go around like to put tape on all the tiles and all to protect them. Uh, it's just easier I can just do like rough edges at the bottom it won't matter because they will be covered and I thought it probably will look a lot neater that way um, and I also want to empty all the boxes like the cardboard boxes uh, from the, that are sitting in the utility room to put them in the right drawers uh, probably today while they are at the dance class um, because then it means that I know what will be in each drawer and I can know exactly what I need to organize the inside of the drawers and I can make a list to go to IKEA on Monday <laughs> that's everything that's happening at the weekend the reason why I want to put everything in that weekend is that I am launching my sticker business on Monday the 5th uh, I will be launching in the evening and I um, have to finish quite a lot of things and I want to put the kitchen things like right you up where I need to do it on hold like on hold until the tiling you know but do, I want to do everything else before that so I can get the house back to semi-normal and focus on the stickers solely uh, for next week that's, that's my goal I work better when I have one task well finished up to where it can be finished and work focusing completely on another task so that's why I am trying to do so much in one weekend but I think even if I'm wrecked by the end of the weekend I will be so glad if I managed to do all this so anyway roll on the day well it's still quiet outside I'm gonna go and check on my pumpkins uh, before I start anything else look at this so we have one one there that's really getting big and the second one that seems to be growing as well there and then another big ish one there. And yes, we have four that are definitely growing. Yes! <laughs> we might have four pumpkins. This one is quite big. And so is this one. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. This one. This one. And this one, but they are sticking. See the way they go whenever they don't work. Like that. <laughs> so where are you going to go today? To dance class. Are you so excited? Yeah. Is it, is it a long time you haven't been? Yeah. So one is all ready to go. Well, he has his jacket here but we're going to wear it just whenever it's time to go because it's a bit warm otherwise. And um, James is not, is not going before an, another half hour so I'm going to pack the bags to go to Granny's house after. Yeah. And when is going to... Is it watching Stampy you want to do? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So the boys are just away. I have done the boys packing, the tiles are here. Um, I just feel like it's another one of those days where there's so much to do. I'm like, ah! So, I am going to show you the tiles because I know some of you have asked about them. 
uh, and I'm also going to lay a few against the wall just to have a fair idea about what everything will look like um, and then I am mostly decided on the paint sorry it's very sunny outside suddenly um, so yeah mostly decided on the paint and I think I'm going to go for a very light blue but um, like almost white um, kind of blue so here are I don't you know what I'm going to lay them against the wall in the kitchen it will be easier to give you a better idea but I'm very oh this is going to work so well I'm so glad do you know the way when you pick things in different shops you haven't seen them together okay I'm going to turn it around now to show you but this are our splashback tiles. I'm gonna put them against like that. Look together, it will look like oh, this is very satisfying. Sorry, I'm getting really excited. Um, yeah, this is getting really excited. I'm very, very pleased with that. Um, I wanted some of those kind of tiles, but I wanted a uh, vintage look so I wanted something to look not perfect and these have like fake scratches and you know the edges are I just really like that about them I want, didn't want something perfect so this is great um, so yeah I'm gonna probably I'm gonna put the floor tile in the front and show you here we have the floor tile with the cabinet the worktop and the wall tile and then above uh, so the it will be tiled up to under the cabinets for there and up to the um, um, extractor fan for that part only and then all the stuff above this wall like all the rest of the wall will be painted in that other color still can't decide if I want something whitish but leaning more towards that you know like creamy thing or a very very light blue grey I don't know so it is now what time is it quarter past one and James is home I've actually emptied all the boxes of the stuff uh, for the kitchen and I've made a pile of we are going to stop by the dump on the way home on the way to the to B&Q we're going to drop all this um, and I have pretty much decided where everything is going to go in the kitchen I have a few things to put away but I'm starting to see clearly in my utility room again. Don't mind the stacked laundry I need to put away. But you know, these are small boxes. They are stuff like light bulbs and um, shoe polish and all that. They were in one of our drawers, but we're actually going to move them there because I have some tins here which are going to move back to the kitchen. So uh, I won't need that shelf anymore. So I can move them there. Mm. I'll do that later on because I don't have the time right now. But um, yeah, I'm happy with how it is going. Um, so we're off to B and Q now. I'm just going to get dressed, and I will see you on the way there. You can see we are in B and Q. We stop by a garden centre on the way, uh, which has a big clearance thing. Sorry, we brought one of the tiles with us, and I'm just going to put everything there and play Pokemon Go on the way. If you have the same problem as me, every time you see a Venus flytrap, that you have to make it eat something. I don't want to put my finger on though. It's eating my key. I'm gonna do the other one there. I think this one is dead or sleeping. It's not eating my key. Here is what we got. We got a dehumidifier for the living room. We got this is for Owen's project. It's a bird feeder with some seeds for the birds. Because he keeps saying that the birds are hungry in the autumn time. Then we got our paint, and more paint, and then we got some rollers, 
and some poly filler and some brushes and some dust sheets some sandpaper some masking tape a filling knife and gloves some more heavy duty gardening gloves for wetter days this is to hang the bird feeder on and some weed killer because we have big nettles growing against our fence so that's it it's now four o'clock and we are going to go home we're going to stop by the mcdonald's drive on the way home because we haven't we kind of had a late breakfast and some snacks but not a full meal so I'm gonna get that and then I'm just gonna get stuck in with preparing the kitchen for painting tomorrow uh, yeah I'll show you the color of the paint when we get home it's called fairy blue which I really like the name of it's a very very pale blue basically so it's five o'clock we're back home um, I had some of my McDonald's meal I actually didn't manage to finish it the sandwich was just bleh. I have some sauce in my mouth though it was too dry the bread and all and I just couldn't eat it properly so I had my chips um, I am going to now take care of the prep work before the painting tomorrow and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I'm going to do step by step. The first step is going to be to remove, I have where well, I had my decoration stuff, you can see here, I have nails on the walls, um, a bit everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to remove all the nails first. I'm also going to rub out, there's a lot of pencil marks from when they did the work like lines and all i'm going to rub them all out um and then the next step is going to do to fill all the little holes that are in the wall from um previous cabinets that were there and that have left a lot of things like that and fill in you know like the nail stuff and all that so then i can um just paint everything tomorrow um we are going to the cinema tonight to see Suicide Squad at half eight. So the plan is to have all this prep work done and I have also the masking tape like around the door frames and the bits where I'm going to paint around the cabinets to you know like to protect the things. So then tomorrow morning I need two coats of paint uh, probably and um, but I think uh, I can do them all during the day. If I start early in the morning, then it doesn't take that long to dry to be able to paint over it again. So um, I can do that. Um, I can have lunch and then start again in the afternoon. Uh, usually what I do is that I start painting from one wall and then move around the rim. And then when I start the second coat, I start from the same wall and do the same. So then while I'm still painting, the rest dries properly and all that. And I'm going to stick <coughs> Big Brother US on the same time because I don't need to keep an eye on it all the time because it's and Jay, yeah, this is what James does when he has uh, <laughs> and James is going to go and look at tablets for me yes. <coughs> so yeah I'll keep you updated as I work so it is now uh, 10 to 7 and I have uh, prepared all the things for the painting like, as you can see there is green tape over everything um, and I've filled all the holes in the walls and we still have an hour before we need to leave even now in 10 minutes so i'm gonna get changed into dirty clothes like bad clothes and i think i'm just gonna paint this wall because there's no to like it's a big flat wall it's easy enough um just to start to get a head start for before tomorrow um there's one of them done uh before we go i might do more i don't know uh, but yeah, I'm going to start by this wall and uh, I will show you uh, what I got, where I stopped when it's time for us to go. So we have to go actually in two minutes. I need to get changed because I'm, I have, a, it's a night dress I have that I've painted with before. I am going to show you um, quickly the, um, what I've painted. I've done a lot more than I thought. It's quite patchy at the minute because some of it is dry, some isn't. And it's only the first coat, but it will give you a fair idea. <laughs> it's very hard to show on camera, but 
there you may see the difference here it's a very very light blue so um it's hard to show especially because there's normal light so i've done all that wall above the door all this under the radiator up to there so that's all that bit of wall so i'll do all the rest tomorrow but at least i have that started i'm not going to go and get changed go to the cinema i'll catch up with you in the car we are now on our way to the cinema we just uh, booked the ticket online so we could go the last minute which was good because it's going to be very last minute hello so the movie is over it is is that on time yes quarter to 11. Woo, it's blurry um it was really really good i really liked it what did you think i thought it was good yeah it was very funny and a lot of the actors on there are very very good the girl doing harley queen is very funny um so yeah we're gonna go home uh probably i might continue a bit in the kitchen i don't know yet <laughs> i might not paint but continue to organize stuff maybe uh i'll see um and or i might look at tablets actually because this curries has a bank holiday sale so if i can get my tablet cheaper i might have a look at that and i will go on for now and end the vlog here and i will see you tomorrow for another one with more painting but hopefully by tomorrow night I can show you the finished painting of the kitchen. Bye!